Okay, let's start the tour. First up is a set of steps. More steps because we have to climb the tower to get to the tower crosswalk or cross uh, path above there. So this is kind of neat. I just like the fact that all this cast iron girders or steel girders all riveted and there's like 80,000 coats of paint <laughs> on the handrails too because I'm, I'm holding on to them and I just feel the clamminess. I'm like, I need to sanitize my hands after this, but uh, so far, this is cool. I'm here on Tower Bridge. Doesn't that look neat? Up there. And here's the, the tower way. So, this was built. This was built um, basically to get people from one side to the other because when they raise the bridge, um, there's no way to get across. <laughs> so, these are uh, pedestrian walkways they put in. And it, bridge was first built so and oh this is ooh, let's check this out okay i gotta walk across this now right talk to you later so now i'm on the west uh, walkway and then you get an idea of what you can see up here this is upstream and another one of these viewing ports I'll go ahead and take another picture of that So now it's time to go down to the engine room. So this is the engine rooms. So there's these boilers here that one time they used to uh, create steam pressure to operate the bridge. And you can see here some uh, diagrams of how that worked. So we're on the uh, south side of the bridge and probably quite a bit of coal had to be yeah, it was right there, 20 coals a week, 20 tons a week. Had to be coming through here. And ooh, this is really cool. The pumping mechanism or the, uh, the mechanism to raise and lower the bridge. Back over there was the boiler rooms. And then there's two um, sets of engines here. But this is like Edwardian you know, technology at its finest. I'm assuming this is, this is being run just by air right now, just to give you an idea, or just a motor you can't see. But you can see these two pistons, and it's like a double expansion piston because there's a high pressure cylinder and there's probably a low pressure cylinder over here. So, yeah, this is neat. This is just absolutely fascinating. So, ah. It's humid in here, but this is actually really, really, really neat. Okay, quick synopsis of how all this goes together. So earlier, the, earlier on, I showed you the boilers. So they stoke the boilers, the coal, to create steam. Then I showed you some steam engines. They, in turn, are driving water into something, and they're driving the water into these huge tanks. And if you can see, they go way up there, and that gives you a source of potential energy. And then, as you can see from this video right here, the bridge driver right there, he would flip the lever and that would allow that accumulated water and mass to come down and drive the drawbridge gates open. As a matter of fact, on the little diagram here, it shows you some of that pressure was fed across those uh, tower walkways that I, I walked across earlier and into the other side. So this is really fascinating and 
um, some more equipment here, I guess. So old gearing, I guess. It doesn't look like it's hooked up anymore. But this was really worth the, the little price of admission and the long walk. I feel bad that uh, <laughs> poor old mom can't do it because <laughs> of her knees. But mom, actually, there is an elevator, so you could get this done. So there's that. Hop on, hop off. And uh, it's actually kind of neat. Just went over to the uh, tower bridge there. You know, the shadow of the tower here. So I'm not sure exactly what the rest of my day will hold, but uh, pretty much well spent. So I'm probably headed back. But I do want to take uh, one or two more uh, tube rides here to get my money's worth for today. But uh, we'll see.